Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So we have some great news. This Friday, December the 9th, 2016, we will be launching our GT New Horizons public server for everyone to join. Um, we talked with the Patreons and our private server we had, and we pretty much wanted more players, so we decided we were going to, you know, bite the bullet and start fresh for you guys to play with us, so we thought that would be really cool. If you'd like to play with us, you still have to be whitelisted. Uh, we're not going to be stingy on the whitelist. You just you just fill in what you're required to do on the forms. So you can check the link in the description, and BASIC will accept you, and we highly, highly suggest that you put your application as soon as possible. Like, the second you see this video, put your application in, because that Friday, when we're about ready to launch, we will uh, go through and accept all the applications and uh, let you know, of course, you've been accepted and launch the server. Uh, and if you do it, you know, right at launch, we might be busy playing ourselves and not get to the, you know, the whitelisting right away. So uh, it's going to be exciting. Our server is going to be a bit different than other GT New Horizons servers. The biggest difference is there's quite a lot of newer players on our server that are new to GT New Horizons and even to the latest Greg Tech, which is kind of exciting because it's fun when you get to play with kind of your own peers in the sense that, you know, you're not playing against all these like elite guys who've been playing, you know, GT for like several years. Uh, there's Hardcore Darkness, which all the servers have that, but uh, we also have the Hardcore Darkness. We've decided we want to keep that in um in ours we have the quest system as well highly recommend doing the quest system our quest system is slightly more complex um we haven't really changed the recipes or not the recipes the quests themselves nor really added any the thing is we've changed the progression tree of them basically uh to get to through the steam age you could skip pretty much all advanced uh, Steam machines and get to the next tier. Well, with our pack, it kind of recommends you to go through those advanced machines before unlocking the next age, things like that, basically the LV age uh, where you have electricity. Um, and so we just wanted to challenge the players a bit more. Uh, we, we didn't want them just to be able to skip and breeze through the book really fast. And we thought that would be more interesting. And uh, so that's what we've done. We've also uh, done something quite unique, uh, something from our old adventure servers. Basically, the Nether portal, the End portal, and the uh, Twilight Force portals are not buildable now. Oh, well, the end portal never was really buildable. I guess you could put your little inserts and look for them. Uh, but what we've done that's kind of unique with this pack is now what you have to do is you actually have to go and look for the portals. There's quests to tell you when to do them anyways in the book to tell you when it's ready for it. Basically, if you're in there in the quest book, then you would have the right materials for it. And basically, you have to unlock it when you get there. There's a, a special little mechanism, basically, to open the portal and allow you through it. And so we thought this would be a really cool way of just changing a bit with the progression and having it a little more unique than just, you know, spamming more portals, building it with the city and just something a little more exciting. And we thought that would be interesting. So we hope you actually enjoy that. And uh, yeah, we, we plan to add some, you know, little events and things through the questing system over time. So maybe special holiday events and just, you know, just special events and, you know, just general. We, we want to try to make a very uh, active, uh, interesting server. And honestly, this server could be here for two, three years. Uh, it really depends on you players. As long as you guys are willing to play and we can uh, keep things clean and you remember that, you know, you don't want to leg the server for others and you have to respect each other and love each other and all that great stuff. I think we can have a really awesome server that can last for a very long time. Uh, either way, uh, check the link in the description to sign up, check the information thread, what we have, what we're offering. Uh, there's going to be a lot of videos after this one one uh, basically they'll be all in one uh, playlist but uh, they will be talking about different little aspects of the server to teach you how to use certain things like our protection system feed the beast utilities protection things like that um, and uh, hopefully uh, it'll help you guys get started and uh, you can see this is the hardcore darkness by the way Ooh. I just want to let you know night vision is your key. It's something you want to work on. It's a little hard because night vision requires a brewing stand, which requires learning uh, magic. And I believe to unlock that, you actually have to do a wee bit of Thomcraft. Ooh, how exciting is that? Um, to get your first night vision potion. And they work well above the surface and underground. And they still work just fine in the daytime. They don't blind your sight. So that's my favorite tip to tell you today. Anyways, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time.